What's up guys, how's it going? You'll have to forgive me, I'm seeing it already looking at the, the phone. My lip's all weird, it's not like responding to my facial movement and the way I'm speaking. I just came back from the dentist, guilty as charge. I had some fillings that needed to be done and yeah, my face is numb. I'm like, oh, I can't, I just can't. In today's video, well, today, Today's kind of sucky. I, I have a hunch that a few of you are going to be disappointed in me, but it is what it is. The animal's care is going to come before anything else. I call this video the ducky decision because I had a big decision to make about my rubber ducky isopods. So on and off, if you guys follow me on Instagram, the link to my account is in the description. And yeah, go follow me. <laughs> um... I have been saying on and off that they're doing well, they're not doing so well. Like, for whatever reason, I cannot get rubber duckies to thrive. It's the most frustrating thing. I've consulted with so many hobbyists around the world. I've changed my substrate up a few different times. I've tried feeding different things. Like, I, I know how to maintain humidity for animals that have specific needs, you know? Like, I keep a whole array of delicate animals, but for, with these darn duckies i can't do it and so i have a friend alicia and her daughter that keep isopods and they have amber duckies and they're doing really well like alicia started with four and she was able to actually get that four into a decent sized culture so i decided that i'd like to give them to her so i, I asked her i said do you and your daughter ava want to take these on just take them for free and give them a good home and hopefully they'll do well with them because the last thing I want is the rest of these to die in my care when they have a chance to become like a full-blown colony in hers. Knowing that she's doing well with Cubaris duckies already, I think she's gonna do great with them. All right guys, so here's the little ducky bin. Uh, you're gonna see right away that there are a few. There's a little guy growing up. Uh, they're even sometimes in here. That's just a dwarf white. Like, there are a few, and I didn't have many at all to begin with. So they have, like, slightly grown in population, <laughs> despite how few there are. Uh, but overall, they're just not thriving. I know down here there's a lot more of them. Yeah, like, see, there's a couple down there. And then there's a few little guys up here. So I just feel like they do a lot better with Ava and Alicia. So yeah, it's just, it's the, it's the ducky decision, man. <laughs> the most important thing to me is making sure that these animals go to a good home and that they can, you know, breed and, and do well. That is always going to be more important than me selfishly wanting to try and own them and keep them longer in hopes that they'll maybe suddenly thrive. Like, I know Alicia's doing well with the Ambers, so I'd rather they go to her and hopefully do well. Hope you guys understand that. On another note, I wanted to give Ava a little gift. I'm surprising with a bunch of Armadillo officinalis grease. The cute and fun thing about these isopods is actually that they stradulate, which means that they make a sound when they feel threatened. So they'll curl into the ball, and then, I don't know if you can hear that. It's like a little, tss, 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 tss. it's a little cute sound. But these guys are adorable. They almost look like a Cubaris crossed with an Armadillidium. And they're actually a really decent size. Uh, but yeah, I think she's really going to enjoy these. I'm excited to see her reaction. I hope she doesn't have any yet. So we're just about to meet with her now. I saw that she's waiting for me downstairs. I'm going to bring the culture down to her and Ava, and we'll meet up with them and talk to them there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Ava. Ava. And do you like isopods? Ava loves isopods, are guys. Are isopods bugs, Ava? Yeah. What are they? Crustaceans. That's right. Very good. So what do we have here today? Do you know what kind these are? What kind are they? Cubaris. Oh, cool. Cubaris. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Ava, I also brought you a little something, too, that I thought you would like. 
These are armadillo officinalis from Greece. And they're cute little isopods. Eat them on my room. That's, that's your mom's decision. We'll keep them in the gecko room, okay? Uh, okay? And those ones, when you pick them up, they make a little sound. They go sss, sss, like that. It's called oh, stradulating. Yeah. Probably the big one. I put one adult one in there. What does he remind you of? The wings he has rainbow. Rainbow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> rainbow. Are you gonna name him rainbow? Okay. Okay, let's put him back. He's on his little piece of sphagnum moss. There we go. <laughs> Say thank you. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, and the rubber duckies are going to come home with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for taking them. I think they'll be much happier with you than me because for some reason they weren't too happy with me. I don't know what was going on. I, I took out, I had a little piece of like zucchini and they finished off some dry fish. There was like a little bone. Oh yeah. No, but like a piece of minnow that was just here. There's just like... So I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no pressure at all. Like yeah, I, know. I just like the bottom line is I just don't want them to die when I know that. I mean, you had four embers and you managed to five. Be... Five. Okay, sorry, I forgot. Still, and yeah. that's you know there's a few more of those ones. So hopefully they'll do well for you. That's all that matters. Yeah. Do you like those ones? They're cute, huh? The little rubber duckies. <laughs> She's like, oh. She has the nice, delicate chest yeah, fingers, and that's perfect for picking them up. Good job. Gentle. Just let them come out. They might be a little cold out here too, honey, so we should probably put them away, okay? Okay, say bye, friend. We'll see you in the house, okay? We can take them out in the gecko room where it's warm. <laughs> All right. Bye! <laughs> so, Ava, what do you have there? Is that blue? <laughs> Is that blue? <laughs> you remind me of me. When I was little, I had all the Jurassic Park toys too. Hey. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. And then what else do we say? Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I oh, oh, my bad. Okay. Thanks. Have fun. <laughs> awesome. Bye. That's the future generation of isopod keepers. <laughs> it is. Not even just future, you're yes, already keeping them. You're already into it. Thanks.